For many years, we have tolerated in America a syndicate of organized criminals whose power is now reaching unparalleled heights. The personal suffering they cause to our society in human and fiscal terms, the climate of lawlessness that its very existence fosters, has made this network of professional criminals a costly and tragic part of our history. When I think back about my past, I feel like I have lived three lifetimes. I grew up in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. I had loving parents, a great family. I was a happy kid. Today, the power of organized crime reaches into every segment of our society. But the streets were enticing. I was intrigued by what I saw. And over time, that intrigue turned into an obsession. It is estimated that the syndicate has millions of dollars of assets in legitimate businesses. It controls corrupt union locals. It runs burglary rings, holds a virtual monopoly on the heroin trade. The reasons for the mob's success are clear. Its tactics and techniques are well known. I was the underboss of the most powerful crime family in American history. I was respected, loved, dedicated, and feared. My love for Gozen Ostra run so deep, even to this day. Organization and discipline, vows of secrecy and loyalty, insulation of its leaders from direct criminal involvement. You think you know the story. Violence and threats against those who would testify or resist this criminal conspiracy. You think you know Cousin Ostra. All have contributed to the protective curtain of silence that surrounds its activities. You think you know what I did. The time has come to cripple the power of the mob in America. You have no fucking idea.